you can picture this wall that I have nailed on top of my workbench is a sample wall that you would find inside your home, half inch drywall, hollow in behind, and now you'd like to hang something on that wall. What sort of toggle, what sort of anchor do you use? There's such a variety of them out there in your local building supply store, but it's very important to get the right one, because if not, then you could have a real accident uh, looking for somewhere to happen. Here, for an example, is a plastic wall plug. Now, the plastic wall plugs are used for, I call it light duty work, something uh, possibly like a, uh, a coat hook or uh, something in the form of maybe a trophy shelf, that type. Now, some people, because they're plastic, because they're pointed on the end, they very simply take to the wall and uh, hit them with a hammer and bash them in. That's not the proper procedure to do at all. What you want to do is drill a hole the same size as a shaft, which is approximately 3 sixteenths of an inch in this particular case, and the top being about a quarter inch, which will now fit nice and neat to the face of the wall. So we'll drill a hole now, 3 sixteenths of an inch, and then I'll tap it in with a hammer. Now here's another type of plastic wall plug that's uh, used for an anchor, and as you can see it has a a fluting on the side as well as got ribbing on the bottom. Heavier duty, yes, but still not into a heavy duty by any means. But they're installed exactly the same way. Approximately a quarter inch on the shank and uh, up to the top here we're about three eighths of an inch. So what we'll do, we'll drill a hole now, uh, one quarter inch, and we'll tap that in. Now this one here is a hollow wall anchor, but this was called the easy anchor. Now it's really fast to put in. As you'll notice, it's got a very coarse thread and also a very sharp point. And it's being a Phillips. And there we have a Phillips screwdriver. Now this one is that simple. You take it to the wall, you push, and you very simply turn. And you're screwing it right into the drywall. It makes its own hole, and that coarse thread gives you a nice, tight uh, finish to the drywall, all ready for the screw to go into place. Now let's get into more of the heavy duty anchors called toggles. Now this is a speed toggle as well and it's quite uh, unique looking but it's very easy to install. Now this one here goes in with an electric drill and it's already set up again for using a Phillips screwdriver. It'll drill its own hole and then it'll go through and then it'll, it'll draw tight. There you have it. Now what takes place, we put the screw into place, it pushes the toggle down. Now it pulls its own thread to the toggle, and this toggle now is going to be drawn back up against the back of the drywall, and you've got a, a real bridge point now pulling against the drywall, making it very secure and a very heavy duty application. Now here is another type of anchor that's uh, very unique, but it's a collapsible anchor. Now the collapsible anchor requires the screw in place at the time that it's mounted into the wall because it requires that, uh, that screwing of the screwdriver or power drill in order to collapse the shank and to give that real heavy duty grip on the back side of the drywall. So we'll drill a hole now the size of the shank which is a quarter inch. Now you'll see on the back side of the, uh, the face plate here there's some teeth and that's going to dig into the wall holding it in a fixed position. Now all ready for the drilling. And we'll now turn it until such time as the shaft will collapse. Nice and tight. Now here's another heavy duty toggler type of plug. Now it's called the toggler. It's a collapsible type, but it collapses in behind the wall after it's inserted and collapsed by pushing into the wall a little plastic pin that will in turn push it out behind holding it steady, just like that. So what we'll do now, we'll drill a hole 5 sixteenths of an inch because that's the size of the shank. But you know, sometimes people will take a flat screwdriver and do this. They'll take, but where they're going to drill a hole and they'll do this sort of thing. And that is a no-no, even though it would work to get the plug in, but it sure won't work in behind. I'll show you why once we get back in behind. So I'll drill a 5 sixteenths hole, push it in, pound it flush, take the little plastic plug, put it in, that's the collapsing tool, and give it one quick snap, and now it's collapsed the legs out in behind. 
Now this is another heavy duty toggler, one that's uh, quite common in use uh, when you're putting on uh, grab bars, something like handle grips, uh, possibly stair rails, where you want lots of holding power. And the way that they work is by putting the screw into the uh, claspable toggle, drill a hole in the wall, into the hole it goes, you let it go and it springs out behind and then you drop back in tight against the wall. So this takes now a 3 8 drill, so I'll drill a 3 8 hole and we'll put this into place. Now I've flipped this drywall sample wall over, this to show you what they look like in behind now, the half inch drywall. There's the blue plastic plug, already with the uh, screw inserted on the other side. Here is the green one, and again you can see the screw coming through and spreading it, giving it that holding power in the wall. And here is the one that we put in with the screwdriver, the easy way. It screws and also self-threads itself right into the wall. This one here, the toggler, as you can see it uh, locks nice and tight in behind. And this one here, the collapsible toggle. And it's all collapsed within the drywall, giving that good extra holding power. This is the one here, as I said, never drill a hole with a flat screwdriver. It's just a no-no. They're not meant for drilling because look how badly it flares out behind. Just no good at all. There's what it should look like, a nice, neat hole. That way, when you put the toggle in, you're not uh, going into a lot of uh, open drywall where there's no strength. And here's the toggler, all spread out behind, good holding power, and the little plastic plug to collapse it right there. And then the heavy-duty toggler, already in place, drawing nice and tight to the drywall, something that's going to hold a good heavy weight, like a handrail or a support uh, bar in a bathtub, for example, to get in uh, the bathtub. Well, there you have it. If you're going to do it with a toggle or a good old wall anchor, make sure you got the right one.